Hey guys, back again to show you guys how to make homemade brown sugar. Um, <clears throat> this recipe is two ingredients, man. Super easy and super good. Uh, you take four cups of sugar and a half a cup of molasses, okay? You just pour the molasses over the sugar. Till it's out really good. Now, for those of you who have a stand mixer, you're one step ahead of the game, okay? Because uh, it's it, it takes a long time. You gotta mix and mix and mix, okay? So, get all that molasses goodness out of there. You, some of you guys may not have known that that's all brown sugar is. I mean, brown sugar is, is molasses and regular sugar. Uh, and you can use any kind of regular sugar you want. I do not know if it'll work with stevia. So before you ask, I don't know. Um, try it and see. Okay, then you turn it on low. Oh, I gotta plug it in, duh. <laughs> Guess I didn't want it to go too fast. Huh? Didn't even have the electric. This is my brand new, this is my brand new one. This first time I've used this mixer, I had a, a uh, malfunction making my frosting on the last one because I didn't think to look at the recipe. I just thought, oh, I'll just do it from memory, and I screwed up. I made it too thick, and I burned up my other one, but that's okay. I ended up getting a really good mixer. So you just hit it low and start mixing. This thing has a turbo function. <laughs> Getting it off the sides of the bowl. I'm going to turn it up a little now. And as you can see, it's starting to mix. It'll take it a while, so I'm going to put you guys on hold until I get it to the consistency that I want. Okay, I've been mixing for about 10 minutes, and like I said, it takes a long time. And this is the consistency and color I have right now. There's very few lumps left. Okay, it's really thick. It's kind of sticky. Of course, you know, brown sugar's kind of sticky. I changed about halfway through from the dough hooks to a regular mixer. Because because I needed to break up the lumps more, okay? And as you can see, you know, it sticks together real good. Super yummy. It's like candy, okay? I could eat just spoons of that if I really wanted to. Maybe I'll just lick the beaters. There we go. Then you put it up in something. Whether that be a Ziploc baggie, or a uh, jar, or a canister. Now do keep in mind, if you don't have these things um, like airtight, and it might even do it even if it is airtight, is get, get the, you know those little ceramic, it's, like a, it's just like a piece of pottery or something, soak it in water and then set it on the top, okay? Uh, and that way it stays moist. Because you don't want it to be, uh, okay, you don't want it to be dried out, okay, and get all hard and lumpy. So, I actually have one of those, uh, you pack it in here a little bit. Um, I have one of those, you don't want a bunch of air in it, that's why. Uh, I have one of those things that you're supposed to put in a bag of tobacco, and I'll grab it here in a minute. Just pack it down in there. And this is great. You know, you can make candies out of it. You can, you, you know, cookies, um, like molasses cookies, chocolate chip cookies, all kinds of stuff. Anything you would use regular brown sugar for, you can use this for. Like store-bought brown sugar. Super easy. You know, it depends on how much your molasses cost. 
as to whether or not this is going to be financially feasible for you. Um, but it doesn't take that much. So uh, if you don't like a real strong molasses, you want a lighter brown sugar, add just a touch less molasses. Mix it up and then see how you like it. Okay. And then if you want to add more, you can. Um, you can add a lot more molasses if you really want to and make it a real dark uh, brown sugar, which some people need for certain recipes. I'm going to leave that. No, actually, I'm going to fill this one up all the way because I only have one of those little pottery things and uh, I don't want it to have a lot of dead airspace in here. I'll put the little piece of wet pottery in the other one because it won't be quite full and it'll have more air in there and so therefore it'll dry out faster so you know you might want to label it put the date you made it okay look at that um, there's not that much here so yeah I'll put that I'll put the uh, I'll put the little pottery wet piece of pottery down in here with this to keep it nice and I'll use it soon uh, maybe I'll make some cookies tomorrow that'd be all right you can double this recipe real easy okay um, depends on the size of bowl you have how much you need how much you think you'll need uh, yeah see this will dry up pretty fast if I don't put that piece of pottery in there because there's only this much in there mm. that stuff is seriously tasty you guys I could just eat it where's my ring Oh, there it is. And ta-da! I've got a little over like a quart and a half a cup of brown sugar. So I'll go over the recipe again. Super easy. Four cups of sugar, a half a cup of brown... Uh, excuse me. Start over. Take two. Four cups of sugar and a half a cup of molasses. And uh, just mix it. Mix the fire out of it. And just keep mixing it until it's the consistency you want. It's going to have lumps for a while. Okay? It's going to have brown uh, molasses lumps in it. And you're going to think, oh, no. No, just keep mixing. Trust me. It will eventually mix up. Um, one of those stand mixers works real good because you can just set it and walk away, you know. Uh, and that way you don't have to sit there and do it all by hand. It took five, ten minutes of me just mixing with a hand mixer to get it mixed up. But that's not a big deal. Because now I have enough brown sugar to last me for a while. And I have enough molasses to do probably three or four more batches. Because I just bought one jar. Okay, This is a 12 ounce jar. So <clears throat> I can make quite a bit more molasses out of that. Anyway, if you guys would hit the thumbs up, comment, share it with your friends, uh, on your social medias, whatever, consider supporting the channel, and check out my links down below, and, and y'all come back and see me. Oh, next one, I'm going to do baby formula. <laughs>